How popular were romance stories during slavery between blacks and whites or between blacks? Why were love stories really forbidden during slavery? Love stories told during slavery are not so popular for several reasons, which can be considered complex and multifaceted. When we talk about marital relationships between blacks and whites during slavery, they are mostly centered on topics considered difficult, controversial, socially forbidden, making it a taboo, and in most cases painful in a society where there was a marked difference between blacks and whites, between the master and them. Slavery is an extremely dark and painful period in the history of many nations in the lands of the New World that we all know as America. Talking about love in that romantic love within a historical context of social and human inequality can seem insensitive or trivial compared to the immense suffering and injustices that slaves experienced, especially when we talk about black women whose bodies were exploited by their masters. It relates to love that which was not based on love, but rather is based on desire, control and possession. The brutality and dehumanization that defined slavery can make love stories seem inappropriate or irrelevant in a society full of prejudices that still do not understand the relationship between slaves and slave owners, where any kind of love relationship must be seen within that context of history where black people were seen as commodities or property, not as people. When talking about romantic history during slavery, we must accept that the lack of representation in the media considered as traditions in which the publications of novels and romantic history were not part of the interest of the public, much less of the writers, editors of newspapers and printed magazines of the time is a factor to consider for those who wrote this type of romantic love's history and when the vast majority were characters considered as people of color, there was no interest from the public, mostly single white women, about this type of story considered as immoral or prohibited during the time. Love stories in slavery have not been widely represented in literature, film and other media and we could all have an idea of what the reason could be and more so in an era where there were very few people of color who knew how to read and write. For enslaved blacks and the few free ones, the story of survival and mistreatment was what dominated their social environment. Let's face it, most narratives about slavery focus on suffering, resistance, and the fight for freedom, which is understandable and necessary. This has led to a lack of diversity in the stories told about this period, where there were love stories between blacks and whites, but also among blacks themselves. Now let's talk about the historical and cultural challenges, love relationships between slaves were extremely complicated due to the constant threat of separation violence, and the lack of autonomy and freedom in the way blacks were seen to be treated, which increased the lack of visibility during the Jim Crow era. These factors can make it difficult to create romantic narratives that do not seem simplified or idealized in the minds of a slave population who was not interested in reading about this type of romantic story about a socially diminished, despised, and dehumanized black population. Limited Perspectives for a long time, stories about slavery were told primarily from the perspective of the oppressors or in a way that did not delve into the full human experiences of the slaves. This includes their emotions, relationships, and personal lives. Commercial interest, publishers and film studios may find love stories in the context of slavery not commercially viable. They believe that audiences may not be interested in consuming these tales due to their complex and painful nature. The popularity of love stories between interracial couples may vary depending on the cultural and social context of each location. Some possible reasons why these stories may not be as popular include, prejudice and discrimination, in some places, Racial prejudices persist that may influence how interracial relationships are perceived and accepted. Social and cultural norms, in societies where homogeneous cultural norms prevail, interracial relationships may face more resistance or disapproval. Limited media representation, 
the lack of positive representation of interracial couples in the media and popular culture can influence public perception and acceptance of these relationships, which were socially condemned, and in the most extreme cases could cost the slave his or her life. Personal and Family Experiences the personal attitudes and experiences of individuals and their families can influence their preferences and acceptance of interracial relationships or marital unions between people of different racial groups. It is important to note that these reasons can vary significantly depending on the social, cultural and political context of each place, but also on the time period in question. However, this does not mean that such stories have no value or importance. In fact, exploring love and relationships during slavery can offer a deeper understanding of the humanity and resilience of those who lived in that era, where black people and their way of life were seen as savage and immoral. These are narratives that can provide a more complete view of the lives of slaves, highlighting not only their suffering, but also their ability to love, dream and find hope in the midst of adversity. Love stories in the context of slavery have the potential to further humanize the individuals who lived through that period, showing their strength, resilience, and ability.